sitting down, standing up, doesn't matter. You can't stop the flow. Caner Universe, it's Caner Tip Tuesday, and today we are looking at three cane flow principles, three cane flow applications that can save your life. Before we do that, a warm welcome to those of you who are here for the first time, a big cane bump to you. Go ahead and avail yourself. Do this before uh, we forget. First of all, if you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Avail yourself. You have two free resources. And the first one is to text the letters CCC for Cane Clarity Call to 305-745-7839 in less than 24 hours. My staff and I will be on a phone call with you, listening to what's important to you. What is it that attracts you to this tool? Why are you watching this? <laughs> it's out of curiosity, but if you wanna make this real, make it functional, make that call. On that call, you'll walk out of the with a game plan. It's at no cost and we'll tell you everything from canes, uh, you know, the first time, what's my first cane? Uh, how do I get cane trained? Which is the real equalizer, we'll discuss that. And you have a free, if you're on Facebook, there's a free group in there from ACSD called Cane Flow. Um, live, move better, protect better, live better. Just request, they'll let you request entry, they'll let you write in. So in this flow, you see all this movement going on and people always wanna know, hey, where is it in the dance? Well, the dance reveals the application, but I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna give you um, a, a few applications here that are uh, a totally, uh, they, they have that self protect they can actually save your life. And the first one is, everybody's into the figure eight. Now, the figure eights that I'm gonna demo here for you are done from the shaft. Somebody asked me one time, so these are from the horn and crook. This is how you do a figure eight, right? It's a lot of fun to do it that way. We choke up here and do it from the shaft as well. As a matter of fact, we start training you like that first. The reason for it, and it's made up of two power shots, it's a one and a five, that doesn't mean anything to you, but you, uh, at this point, if you're not uh, ACSD trained, not a big deal, but this is the angle that you're covering here. And the reason for it is that it's designed to keep it protected. I wanna show you something here with this figure eight. Um, he goes ahead and he draws a, a, a tool, he draws a, a weapon here, and now, rather than coming in real wild or doing anything uh, that's gonna leave you open or give him time to think. See, in ACSD, the strategy, the system was originally uh, designed to deal against this kind of thing. Keep in mind, he comes in here, first of all, he, you don't see this knife, but, but hold that knife. See how he holds it in his hand? He doesn't even, they're fast or furious. He comes in here, he, ah, doing that kind of thing, right? And he can bust right through here if you don't know what you're doing with the tool. And so, yeah, it has tremendous advantage. It's already drawn, but if you're down here, when he moves in, you don't even see it and there it goes. So with that, back off, back off! There's a forward movement coming in with those strikes that are designed to blow him away. In ACSD, it's called a juggernaut strategy. There's a specific footwork that we do with it, but it's a very fiery element that's coming forward and notice that the shots are not coming all over the place. So that when you see caners, they toss him a cane, you saw me sitting down, doesn't matter if you're sitting down, you're standing up, and you see this, that's what it's training you to do. You can take this and then strike a stack of tires, a bag, and see what it feels like when you make contact. So figure eights um, is one of those skills that can certainly, um, even if you don't make contact, think about that, can dissuade an attacker. Why in the world, if I'm pumping gas over here, I'm not looking down at my phone, I have my cane here and I'm doing this, I'm well aware, something happens, I'm over here and now I'm being loud, right? And your assailant is looking at this three-dimensional propeller coming at them. Why in the world, with all the soft targets in the world, would I pick this one? This is obviously a mistake. Back off, get away, get, no, everybody has a phone today that can film that. I think I'm gonna live to rob another day, right? That's the whole idea. Figure eights can save your life. The second concept <clears throat> is the concept of blending and that blend pivot. You don't see a lot, you'll see caners uh, doing this kind of thing with that quarter pivot. Uh, they come in here and you see that without lifting the feet, look, look at how there's a glide here and we go from side to side doing that. They, they can be up here high and then come down low and then there's that pivot, that blend pivot. It's a form of a green. <clears throat> you can do it verbally, you have different faces, and then you can do it physically. The reason for it is twofold. Number one, the attack that comes in may be particularly strong. It may be a strong attack and you don't wanna take the full brunt of that attack. So it may look like something where if I'm over here 
um, and he's coming with a very strong push. I just don't want to go ahead and have to meet this guy. Did you see that? So if I'm not ready, he does this. He pushes me. Uh, I'm going to topple. My balance goes. Not only that, I hate the fact that he put his hands on the cane, which means that now I have to have another skill set to deal with this guy. But if not a lot of room, and he goes ahead and moves. That blend pivot um, allows you to deflect. You're still connected so that you can do something about it. And it doesn't matter whether um, it's coming with a push or it's coming with a strike. So, so when the attack is particularly strong and you don't want to meet it head on, you don't want to try and deflect just from here, um, that's one reason you might want to do that. But the second one, think multiple assailants. So <clears throat> if I have somebody else here, imagine that I, I'm dealing with both of them. I'm trying to keep them in my 10 and two and this individual moves in and I do this, right? So now I've placed them, I'm in agreement. You see how I'm seeing things the same way. And now you have another uh, assailant that's coming in here. So uh, uh, for something like this, right? I strike this one, but, but this one's kept in check here. Now I can come right back and strike. So that blending, that blending, which is really just tilt the camera down here for me so they can see that there's nothing. It, it's a quarter pivot to where you're here and you're, and you're just moving. My feet don't really come up too high. I can do it to one side, whatever you practice to one side, you practice to the other. So that blend pivot can take off some of the heat that's coming so you don't take the brunt of that attack. And then the third one, you don't see it a lot. And that is where you are doing, we call it a leg pass. And in ACSD, the ability to handle up here at one speed and then move your lower body, not necessarily synchronized, but off tempo with what you're doing here. And I'm, I'm gonna show it this way. I'm dealing with this fellow in here, right? So uh, he's coming in, I might be doing this. He's got a pad, I'm striking, I'm fighting with him here. And now here comes a multiple attack. Here comes somebody else who's gonna take out my limbs. You know how in ACSD you say you take out the limb, you win. What if they're coming at you? And so I need to have the ability to deal with somebody here. And I want you just to say off camera uh, now. And watch the leg. Now. 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 In other words, it functions independent of what I'm doing here, right? I have to be able to take that leg out of the way. If that looks easy to you, <laughs> it's simple. The concept is simple, but if you've never done it before, the handling here, and then I'm having to respond to a stimulus. So I'm looking here, but I see out of the periphery that you're coming down. I should be able to move from there, right? Notice that both hands are always around uh, when you're doing that handling. And that in ACSD is known as a leg pass. Those are three skills that when you see caners flowing and they're moving to music and you say, oh, those guys are just, you know, now you know um, what it is. You have your figure eight, you have that blend pivot, and you have the concept of being able to move the legs independently. It's almost like they have a, a whole mind of their own of what's going on out here, right? You're dealing with somebody, he took the cane as well. Oh, but they're, they're coming in here to strike your feet. Oh, there goes the, there goes the leg, pop, pop, pop. It's not gonna happen by chance, right? It requires a specific training and ingraining that in the nerve system so that when you need it, it's there for you. So to that end, if you're watching every week and I appreciate it, but watching video, this is showing you potential, potential. This is what can happen with training, right? There's a step-by-step, -step. you can't just jump into it and say, oh, and do that. And I can almost hear right across the screen when you say, well, that's easy for you because you're, um, and, oh, it's always easier. I, I am this, I got this. I come as you are with all the limitations. The emphasis is not gonna be on what you can't do. It's gonna be on what you can do, which will, will typically so much more than what you thought possible, but you're going to need the blueprint. You're gonna need a set of trained eyes giving you that support, that feedback, um, the corrections, the accountability that you're gonna need and the encouragement because right? you're going to have days. There's a process in there where you say, hey, I don't think I can, you know, I can do this today. Well, that's what you think, but let me show you that there is a way. And, and we have to do it. Why? Because criminals don't care. They just see opportunity. They just see soft target. 
we don't want that for you. All right, so go ahead and text those letters CCC to 305-745-7839. Let's have a conversation, see how we can serve you best. I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense. Thanks for watching. Keep caning, stay safe, keep flowing.